Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use grids in Canva. And from our Canva dashboard, let's just go ahead and create a design here. I'm going to use a uh, one of their quick uh, links here for an Instagram post. You can use it with any uh, size canvas here. To access the grids, you'll want to go to Elements and then just type in Grid. And so grid is a type of frame where you can insert a photo, a video, or even select a color. So when you click on the grid here, it will automatically uh, fill your canvas here. You can easily resize your grid um, using the transform tools there here. So uh, once we have our grid in place, we can uh, choose to add a photo. So let's just go ahead and search for a photo of a dog here. And then I will just grab this first image here. And then um, if you click on the image, it's not automatically added to your grid. So we'll go ahead and delete that. You'll need to actually drag it in to your grid here. And then as you can see, it takes on the shape of our grid. So if I double click, I have the option to um, change the proportions of my image I can um, move it around here and then uh, once you get it in the position uh, that you want you can just go ahead and click on done here if you want to uh, change your image you can easily just select a new image here drag it into the frame but you can also uh, delete the image out of the frame so if you just hit the delete key or backspace it will delete it from the frame if we drag our image back in you can also hit the trash icon here where you can select to uh, delete the image or delete the grid altogether. So again, we can hit delete image and it will leave the grid there. So you can use uh, grids with a image that has a full background, or you can even use it with a transparent uh, background. So if we drag it in here, we see that it takes on the uh, background color of our background. Again, you can resize it here. And then if you want to double click, you can kind of move it around here and then just click done and then maybe we'll size it down here. And again, you can choose to delete that image and it will leave the grid here. With grids, you can also choose it with a video. So here we have a video of a dog running. We'll drag it into our grid and then we can see um, that that video will take the shape of our grid you can double click and then again you can reposition it if you want to selecting the changes there playing it see how it looks in your grid we'll go ahead and delete that I'll just hit the delete or backspace key here finally you have the option to select a color for your grid so we'll hit the uh, color picker here you can choose from any of your um, colors here default colors or you can select a new color say we want a blue color just choosing the slider here to select your color there uh, one thing to note when you insert a color into a grid it no longer behaves like a grid so if i go to uh, the trash can here it is just going to delete it it's not going to give me the option to uh, just delete the color and leave the grid. Once you insert a color into your grid, it will no longer really behave like a grid um, like you did for the image. So let's go ahead and bring that back, Command or Control Z. If I then try to uh, drag an image in, it will still behave like a grid. Um, but as far as the deleting it, it won't behave the same way. So here, I'll get back to the delete image here. But again, if I select a color and then I hit the delete, it will just delete it. So just keep that in mind when you're using grids. Uh, when you do select a color, um, you can um, insert a picture and it will still behave like a grid. Um, but you can't hit that delete key um, to get rid of that color outside of the grid. You'll need to bring in another image or video. Let's go ahead and search uh, for grids here again. And then what you'll notice so far, we've just used the one single uh, frame here, but they, uh, Canva has a lot of different layouts uh, that you can use. So let's go ahead and delete this here. And then let's select one of our 
um, layout uh, grids here. What you'll notice here at the top is you can adjust the spacing. So if we hit the spacing here and we bring that up, you'll notice that the negative space between uh, the different um, parts of this grid increases as we increase that spacing there. Let's go ahead and search for uh, cats this time. And so let's find a couple cat pictures here. So we'll go ahead and bring this one into uh, this grid part here. Let's go ahead and see more. And then we'll just select some more cat pictures here. And then we'll do one more. And uh, the layout is nice because it is already um, positioned for you. You have nice even spaces uh, that you can increase or decrease. So this is a fun um, feature of the grids where you can get multiple images here at once and again you can select a individual grid here and if you want to change it to a color you can um, there as well. Uh, let's go ahead and add a page here and then uh, we'll go back into our search function here and then I'm just going to type in frame. So a grid is a special type of frame but there are a lot more uh, frames to choose from um, that will behave similarly to the grid. Um, in this case, they come in different shapes um, that you can use with your images. Uh, one of my favorite here is this computer screen um, when creating mockups here. And just like the grids, you can add a photo um, into this frame here as well. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial on how to use grids in Canva. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.